Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. It's August 1st, watching a little swarm develop. They're flying in the air pretty good. You can tell it's very small. Um, looks like they're gonna congregate right here on this lamb, more than likely. Uh, this, this time of year, and the hive beetles are pretty bad right now. And this yard, we, we got them pretty good. Uh, we're catching them pretty good with the beetle barns. But my, my time is limited to um, taking care of nukes and working the store and, and working night shift. That sometimes they just get out of hand and I just can't get to them in time. So a lot of times swarms like this will develop because of overrun populations of hive beetles so that's more than likely if I could trace this back and I can't see which hive they're coming out of but more than likely it's probably an infestation of hive beetles so you really really need to watch your hives very closely uh, you got to understand in the bee yard like this I work a 12-hour night shift job and we're trying to run a store and several nukes at the same time and bee yard and a queen yard. Our time is very limited. We're stretched very thin. So, so don't take this as I'm just being lazy and not taking care of my hives. This is just, we're stretched way too thin this year with our, uh, with, with everything that we got going on. So, but I'll be honest with you, 100%, when, when something like this happens, I could about assure you that uh, it's possible, because I haven't traced it back to which hive it's come from. It may be an overpopulation, but I've not seen anything out here bearding to the point of being overpopulated. So more than likely, it's a swarm from, from hive beetles. Uh, like I said, uh, with my videos when something bad happens to me, I'll tell you about it I'm not gonna hide it and say we don't get hive beetles and we don't have problems because we absolutely do And being as thin spread as what we are That most definitely will get you if you're not right on top of it and And more than likely that's what it is because just looking at the size of the swarm. It's very small Even a two-frame swarm would be much bigger than this I can see accumulating right here on the limb and it's probably not going to even be a one pound swarm if that so it, it could have possibly come out of one of one of our splits uh, because we're constantly running wheat colonies here you got to understand uh, it's not like a it's not like a honey production yard uh, Everything we have here is five frames or two frames. I only have four uh, eight frame hives that are like double deeps and a, and a super on top, or not double deep, um, a deep with a couple supers on top that we pulled honey that I did experiment with, with the uh, with super package that we installed in them. So you gotta understand when uh, running propagation that our colonies are constantly running weak. It's just how it is. You can't, when you sell a colony, you're gonna start off with a very weak nuke. Uh, that's just, there's no other way of doing it. You gotta start off with either one or two frames of bees. And at that point, uh, your colonies can be vulnerable to, to hive beetles, wax moths, mites, um, and even predators like uh, if you're trying to make queens, uh, dragonflies, purple martins, and different kind of birds are always constantly in competition <laughs> with their food supply. They're trying to eat bees while we're trying to breed bees. So, so that's what we're up against. But a good thing is we do have a new tool that's gonna be absolutely 
devastating on the hive beetles. And I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, honestly, I'll be my honest 100% opinion on this. These things are, they will absolutely eliminate the hive beetles in your hive as long as you have everything sealed up except that entrance where you put this tool. So here in a second, I'll show you that. Okay, now here's what we got. This thing right here is called the Guardian. And it's, it's literally impossible for a hive beetle to get past this. And, and if even one does get past it, you should have a beetle barn inside to get what it's not catching. Now, this thing, the way it works is if a hive beetle approaches this, it can't get in. It'll try to cross this little grate right here that's got the holes and it gets confused and it'll keep falling through the holes and it just can't get inside and also uh, the bees are big enough where they can land on the holes and walk on in and the biggest uh, the way this works the best is uh, hive beetles can hover so if they would try to come in and hover which they can't they'll miss the target every time and they'll fall short and they'll try to crawl up in these crevices right here and they end up going nowhere. They'll try to get under this thing and it leads them nowhere. Of course, Goosey's gonna make some noise. Hey, Goosey and Ducky. But anyway, uh, the Guardian is a very excellent tool for uh, keeping hive beetles out of your hive and, and absolutely does work. Do your reviews on it. Right here's a hive beetle right here on the entrance and he would not be on the entrance. He would be inside if he could get inside. Now I have seen some videos of, of this tool in work. See how he's going underneath of it and the bees chase it and it just can't figure out how to get inside. This thing absolutely does work. Now the thing is you got to make sure that everything is sealed up. Uh, it, let me show you how. It, this is an entrance reducer. You got to use an entrance reducer. And what you do, it mounts on the front of the entrance reducer. Now you can put it on the, the wide part or the shallow part. It doesn't matter whichever side you want to. You can mount it here on the, on the, the wide entrance. And then if it needs restricted down, you can put it on this side. It has two screws that holds it on, and then it simply just slides in. There's no yellow jacket. And also, uh, from, from what I read about this, that bees trying to rob the colony will have a very hard time trying to figure out how to get inside. The bees that, that live here have no problem because they figure it out. So they get in the routine, they go in and out as normal, but robin bees, yellow jackets, that right there that should have been inside the hive trying to strip it out, cannot get inside. Just like that hive beetle that they chase underneath right there. They can't get in. This tool absolutely does work. It's called a Guardian. Uh, we have these at barnyardbees.com. It's a new tool of ours. We're very excited about this. It's If you have one of these on the outside and a beetle barn on the inside, your hive beetle problem is solved. You will not have any hive beetle problems whatsoever. Just make sure that any crevice, like up under your, your lid and everything else is closed off where nothing can get in any cracks. And that's what the, the hive beetle, the, or the beetle barn is for. It'll keep, it'll kill what does accidentally get inside that shouldn't get past this right here. So if you want any of these, uh, we have them at barnyardbees.com. Um, <laughs> they work very well. Uh, we've run them here for a little bit. And just like anything, I won't even talk about it till I know it works. And when you put these on and go through these colonies, you will not see any hive beetles. Unless there was hive beetles already on the inside. Now, these come in two different tools. You got the entrance guardian, and then 
you have a small uh, upper entrance that you can use. Some people like to use upper entrances. So what you do, you drill like a, I think it's a one, one and a quarter inch hole, and you'll mount it wherever you want to mount it on, on your uh, upper colony if you want a uh, upper entrance. And it works the same way. The hive beetles, when they try to land on this upper entrance, they can't. And they can't, because they can't hover, because they'll miss that target every time. If they try to crawl in, this is created where it just goes into like a crevice in here. And they can't walk around and they can't walk up and walk in. It's impossible for them to get in. Uh, these things work excellent. We have both of these at barnyardbees.com. So check them out. Uh, just like that swarm back there, I can guarantee if I, if I go back and find the colony it comes from, that it will be infested with hive beetles. Now, once we get these on all of our hives, our hive beetle problem is solved. We will not have any more hive beetle problems. We could probably get rid of the chickens, <laughs> which I wouldn't because I love my chickens. But I just wanted to share that with everybody. Um, once you get them and try them, I highly endorse these. The best tool I've seen yet against the hive beetle. With it and the, and the beetle barn, you will not have any more hive beetle problems. So don't forget, uh, click on the little bell. Uh, check out our Instagram, Facebook page. It's in the link in the description. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bornard Beast.